Can we move to Mars? Well, ladies and gentlemen, did you know that one of the first humans to possibly set foot on the surface of Mars in 2025 could be an Irishman? Dr. Joseph Roach is hoping to get down to the last four of a really odd TV reality show. An organisation called Mars One is behind it and it will potentially see the plucky individuals rigorously trained and then blasted off on a one-way trip to the Red Planet. Now that sounds a bit nuts in my opinion, but actually, is it really possible to send humans to Mars? Now Mars is one of our nearest neighbours, but even at its closest approach, it's still 56 million kilometres away. So that's a British journey of about six to nine months. The crew of the Mars One mission only have about 20 cubic metres of space each. Plus, to save on water, they don't have any showers. Wet wipes it is then. But that's the least of your worries. Here on Earth, we regard the sun as the thing that powers life. But for a space traveller, it's a whole lot nastier. Outside the protective magnetic field of Earth, our body becomes subject to solar radiation. So if the sun was to have an explosion like a solar flare, it could send out potentially lethal doses of radiation at our space voyages. On top of that, being in zero gravity for an extended period of time can lead to bone degradation and muscle loss. It's been said that without exercise, a healthy 40-year-old would have the body of a geriatric by the time they made it to Mars. Now that isn't the best situation you want to be in for starting a home on a new planet. So let's just say we managed to get there. What awaits us? Well, Mars is smaller than planet Earth with only about a third of the gravity. But its day lengths are around the same. 24 hours and 37 minutes. And there's seasonal changes too. But regarding its atmosphere, that's 100 times less dense than planet Earth. With a 96% carbon dioxide content and 0% oxygen. Because the sun's heat isn't trapped, the temperature on Mars is about minus 63 degrees C. Now that's pretty cold, but it gets worse. The planet is in constant bombardment from dust storms, which engulf the planet in a red cloud that can linger up to a whole month. Doesn't sound very nice, does it? But a few methods have been proposed to try and make life more habitable there to terraform the planet. Now to thicken up the atmosphere and to raise the temperature, theories range from setting up solar powered greenhouse gas producing factories to try and induce a kind of global warming on the planet. Or even the construction of huge mylar mirrors, 250 kilometers in diameter. That's like almost from Belfast to Galway. If you can build this and put it in orbit around Mars, you could reflect the sunlight onto the Martian surface. This could melt the ice caps and raise the temperature of the planet to 20 degrees centigrade. So far, so sci-fi. So, can we move to Mars? Well, in an infinite universe, they say anything's possible. But as a species, we're a pretty determined and ingenious bunch. I mean, in just over half a century, we've gone from inventing the plane to landing on the moon. So although the odds are stacked against us, I wouldn't rule it out just yet. Godspeed. <laughs>